I love putting pencil to paper and getting a more hands-on approach to art. Doing something really slowly and with care can really help with mindfulness. Hi, my name's Ellen Portis. I'm an artist based in Melbourne. I make illustrations, animations and installations. And I'm here today taking you through a tutorial for your colouring in affirmations. The first step uh, is to choose which colouring in sheet you would like to start on. You can choose whatever sort of resonates with you. So there is strong, growing and thankful. These are all terms and words that help me reflect and be mindful. Today we're using a variety of the Big Intensity products. You can choose pencils if you like, you can choose the fine liners if you like, or the textures. It's really up to you um, and what you prefer using. So I've chosen some really bright colours um, in this palette. To me, bright colours, they're sort of um, unapologetic and, you know, kind of in your face. That speaks to me about strength and at the end of the day like there's no rules for um, this it's just whatever you feel start with whatever color you like wherever you like we can just start going for it when i'm sketching i'll always use pencil for coloring in i think um, using these pencils is really good because you can get a sort of solid color and you can also do things like blend out the colors or do some interesting textures if you like as well so it just has that versatility of like really intense colour and also a little bit of texture. It's really important when you're creating any artwork is to try not judge how it looks while you're doing it. The point of this exercise is to um, have fun and reflect and feel that kind of mindfulness of just the pencil against the paper. For me, colour is the most important element of my work, I would say. Colours have associations with different feelings and meanings and it's sort of unapologetic. It is like a strong way to express yourself. While you're colouring in your artwork, I really encourage you to reflect on the word that you've chosen and what it means to you. I think those reflections can be a really useful way to keep you in that mindful headspace. It's really hard to be kind of creative when you've got things kind of clouding the sort of space between your brain and your hand. I think the flow state, the way that I think about it is that kind of clarity where you're really not thinking about anything else. You're just enjoying creating something without judging what you're doing. Nothing else really matters except for um, what you're doing right now and what's in front of you. Okay, so I'm really happy with uh, my coloured in artwork. I've scribbled down some kind of phrases and things and reflections during that time. Now to kind of tie this whole piece together, I'm going to make this into a phrase. You can choose your kind of own phrase that resonates with you. It might be, I am strong or something like that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and get my brush pen and letter it onto the final piece. And this is my finished piece. You know how strong you are. Thank you so much for joining me today. Um, I hope you had a lot of fun creating your artwork. You can download your own template at the Smiling Mind website.